<clears throat> okay, uh, good day, people. Uh, this is a, a tutorial for how to write introductions for the, the argument of paper. You can see my PowerPoint presentation here. Uh, the first thing is that uh, there are four parts to the introduction. Uh, your first part is the attention getter. Your second part is where you mention the topic. Your third part is your thesis statement. And your fourth part is where you mention the organization. When we mention the topic, uh, we are going to use a specific style. Uh, in uh, the case of uh, all of the thesis statements that we are working with, uh, we find that uh, uh, we, we identify two uh, opposing sides to the topic. Uh, when we do this, we're going to uh, mention those both sides as clearly as possible, and, and we're going to use the contrast word while. Uh, in this way, we're going to strike a balance uh, between uh, the two opposing sides, and we will not show uh, which side we favor in part two of the introduction. In part three of the introduction, where you mention your thesis statement, that's where uh, you show which side you favor. In part four of the introduction, when you mention your organization, uh, that is where you mention uh, in uh, very clear, uh, succinct points the topic sentence arguments that are coming later in the paper because the topic sentences are the main ideas to the body paragraphs uh, uh, if we can summarize the topic sentence arguments uh, to say uh, that uh, uh, as as a template example uh, that uh, this thesis statement should be supported because of reason number one, reason number two, and reason number three. In this case, the reason number one, reason number two, and reason number three would be the main ideas to paragraph, body paragraph number two, body paragraph number three, and body paragraph number four. And that's because in our essay, uh, body paragraph number one is about the opposite side. So the first reason is the topic sentence idea for body paragraph number two. The second reason, the topic sentence idea for body paragraph number three. And the third reason, the topic sentence idea for body paragraph number four. Okay, so let's see an example. Uh, here is an example of an introduction which is appropriate for the an argumentative paper. Uh, uh, try to take a moment and try to find the four parts of the introduction. Uh, you can pause the video and then uh, uh, try to find the four parts of the introduction. Pause the video now. Okay, so uh, hopefully you were able to find the four parts of the introduction and I will show you them here in color. <clears throat> we see uh, the attention getter. In this case, the attention getter is an anecdote. Uh, it's actually a really nice attention getter. Uh, it, uh, it it warms us up to the topic. Uh, it's uh, supposedly um, a, uh, a, a real life case. Um, in this case, it, it's it's not a true story. I, I made it up for this example, but uh, there are some uh, real life cases. Uh, uh, very much like this uh, that I have heard of. Um, so it warms us up, up to the idea of, uh, uh, of the, the, that, that medical marijuana might uh, uh, be uh, uh, valuable uh, and should be um, legalized. <clears throat> uh, here's the part two of the introduction. And uh, as you can see, we used the contrast word while and uh, there's a comma in the middle. <clears throat> and on uh, either side, you have uh, a, an expression of what might be the opposite side argument. Okay, 
So uh, basically, we say some people believe that marijuana should remain illegal, and other people believe that it should be legalized, in this case, for uh, medicinal purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, with the contrast word while, we strike a balance between the two sides, and uh, there, there's no favoritism. Uh, something that's nice about this uh, contrast word while is that you can put it in the middle. Uh, for example, we could change this to... Uh, some people believe that marijuana should remain illegal while other people believe that it should be legalized for medicinal purposes. And there's no difference in the meaning. Uh, then comes the thesis statement. You can see this is uh, one of uh, uh, Teacher Kirk's uh, uh, contrast word words and uh, his uh, uh, one of his uh, techniques, one of his styles for uh, a thesis statement. Uh, after the comma, uh, we focus in and we see this is the author's argument. This is the 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 main argument. Uh, that will control uh, the whole paper, that uh, marijuana should be legalized for medicinal purposes. Oops. Uh, here in the last sentence, this is uh, the sentence that uh, tells us the organization of the paper, and uh, it... And you can see that we have in color uh, the uh, main ideas, uh, the topic sentence ideas uh, for the individual body paragraphs for this imaginary essay. Uh, apparently, uh, there's going to be a body paragraph where this argument is made that uh, marijuana is a great natural painkiller. There's going to be another body paragraph where this argument is made uh, that it is helpful for stimulating the appetites of certain patients and there's going to be a body paragraph where we make the argument uh, that it's uh, good uh, for treating uh, epilepsy. <clears throat> Something that's important about this sentence is that uh, it, the structure is one of a series. It, it is a, a series, I should say, uh, we have three ideas here. A marijuana should be legalized because number one, this one, number two, this one, and number three, this one. <clears throat> when you write a sentence like this with a series, uh, the grammatical structure of each item in the series should be the same. Uh, it should be parallel, as a matter of fact. Because of that, this is called parallel structure. For this sentence, uh, your challenge is going to be to write a sentence uh, with three ideas uh, that uh, sound like uh, topic sentence ideas and uh, that the grammar be in parallel structure. So let's go on uh, to some other examples. Uh, this is uh, how you will see... Um, introductions on the exam. Uh, on the exam, uh, you're going to be given uh, incomplete introductions, and they're going to be exactly like this. Uh, or in other words, uh, uh, they're going to be missing part two and missing part four. <coughs> So if this introduction is missing part two and missing part four, that means uh, we have part one, the attention getter, that's right here, and we have part two, uh, sorry, we have part three, uh, the thesis statement, right here. So in order to understand the argument, uh, we want to focus uh, on the second half of this thesis statement. <coughs> Uh, and uh, apparently this person believes that uh, individual sports can be even more rewarding. Well, more rewarding than what? More rewarding than uh, playing team sports. Uh, we have to try to imagine what the, the topic or the prompt uh, was for this assignment. 
and it's pretty easy to infer that uh, this assignment uh, is answering the question, which uh, do you prefer? Do you prefer playing in team sports or do you prefer playing in individual sports? Uh, after identifying uh, the uh, two sides uh, to the argument, it's going to be easy to write uh, part two of that introduction. So uh, let's write it right now. Let's write it with while, mm -hmm. while uh, playing, uh, uh, while, uh, sorry, let's say some people, this is the easy way, while well, some people prefer to play <coughs> in team sports, comma, other people prefer to play in individual sports. This is a part two to this introduction. Uh, so now we're just missing part four to this introduction. In order to write part four to this introduction, we need some uh, ideas that could work as arguments in uh, this for this imaginary essay uh, that we're never going to write. We're never going to write the rest of the essay. Uh, we're just going to write uh, an introduction to this essay. Okay, so I have opened up a little notepad here uh, because I want to do some brainstorming and uh, because uh, this uh, uh, essay, um, this, uh, this writer prefers individual sports, I need some good reasons why individual sports are better. So let's say that individual sports are more uh, convenient. And uh, let's say that uh, uh, you can keep um, all, you can keep the trophy uh, for yourself. Uh, what else? Uh, maybe individual sports are cheaper, uh, less equipment. Um, what else? Uh, maybe you like individual sports uh -huh, because you can set your own schedule. All right. And so we have some. Uh, some decent ideas here and uh, we only need three uh, but the problem is we want them to uh, be in parallel structure so if I use this idea then that means that uh, for my other three ideas I'm going to want to use a verb <coughs> uh, what do we have here here we have an adjective uh, here we have a verb uh, so we could say if uh, because you can keep the trophy, because you can set your own schedule, and because uh, to pay for the equipment is cheaper. Um, you spend less money. Okay, now I have uh, three ideas. I'm looking at... Uh, uh, keep the trophy, set your own schedule, and spend less money. And I'm going to write that <coughs> as uh, part four of this introduction. Uh, in order to do this, I want to look back at the thesis statement and um, focus on keywords. Okay, plain participating in individual sports. So I'm going to say playing individual sports is better because <coughs> and then let's look at the notes again. Uh, you can keep the trophy, you can set your own schedule, and you spend less money. It's supposed that these ideas come in the same order that uh, your paragraphs will come in. So what was that again? Um, because uh, you can keep the trophy, set your own schedule, 
and you spend less money because you can keep the trophy for yourself. Um, you set your own schedule and you spend less money. Okay, and that sentence is in parallel structure. Uh, everything after because is in the same structure. We've got a subject and a verb, a subject and a verb, and a subject and a verb. And just in case you were wondering, uh, because we repeat you three times, uh, that gives us the option to omit you uh, the second and third time. <clears throat> and we still have parallel structure here. And upon looking at it, uh, I think that I prefer uh, to omit uh, the can here. Um, it's really not necessary. Individual sports are better because they. Another option would be uh, go back to the original style, the original wording, playing individual sports. Mm -hmm. is better because individual sports we don't want to have uh, a dangling modifier individual sports are and let's put our copy paste here and see how that comes out okay because plain individual uh, plain individual sports is better because individual sports are more convenient more personally gratifying oh come on stupid thing okay so now we have this sentence playing individual sports is better because individual sports are more convenient more personally gratifying and cheaper uh, in this case um, our three adjectives follow uh, a to be verb right here are they are more convenient it's understood here they are more personally gratifying and they are cheaper that part is understood um, also please recognize that this is parallel structure um, when we use the comparative form for longer adjectives we always use more more convenient you would say more personally gratifying. The, this is an adverb. It modifies uh, this adjective. More convenient, more gratifying, and cheaper. Uh, you would not say more cheaper. So there you have a, a couple of good ways to, or a couple of examples for how to write uh, part four of that introduction. Uh, let's look at a couple uh, of different examples. Um, here's another one, uh, very similar. Um, <clears throat> if you saw this on the exam, you would go through the same process. Uh, you, you would not focus too much on the, the attention getter. Uh, it can be a distractor. The attention getter doesn't really tell you what the uh, thesis statement is. Uh, there is a potential uh, for um, confusion, especially with this uh, attention getter. Uh, I have seen that students uh, sometimes think that the topic of this uh, paper would be 
uh, uh, doing exercise uh, or taking care of your health. Well, that's not the topic of this paper. You find the topic in the thesis statement. So here's that next example. <clears throat> um, and uh, when we read this, we see that uh, this person thinks that team sports are better than individual sports. So it's actually the same topic as uh, the one that we just saw. <clears throat> uh, for part two of this introduction, we can use the same uh, uh, idea that we had in the, the previous uh, introduction because it strikes a balance uh, between the two, to uh, the two sides. <clears throat> it does not matter uh, which one you mentioned first here. So uh, while some people uh, prefer individual sports, other people prefer uh, team sports. <clears throat> and then you're going to write part four of this introduction. I'm going to let you do that for practice. Uh, in order to do that, you have to brainstorm and think of three ideas that could be uh, possible topic sentence ideas for an imaginary essay that you're never going to uh, finish writing, uh, you express those ideas in one sentence in part four, and you do it in parallel structure. OK, so I'm going to show you guys one more uh, sample introduction. <clears throat> and uh, you can also practice with this one. Uh, and um, it, it's going to help you for the exam if you practice with all of these. <clears throat> uh, it, again, uh, pay attention to the thesis statement because in the thesis statement you find the topic. Uh, and uh, in this one, if you analyze it um, with just... Uh, uh, a, a little bit of uh, intu intuition, you can uh, you can discern that uh, the topic is probably uh, should hockey should fighting in hockey uh, be prohibited because as you know, uh, fighting in hockey uh, is uh, allowed uh, and it's a pretty hot topic. So uh, uh, some people believe that uh, fighting in hockey should be prohibited uh, and other people believe that it should uh, remain uh, a part of the sport. <clears throat> so uh, that would be appropriate for uh, section number two. And then uh, you would have to do some brainstorming in order to come up with some decent reasons why, in this case, uh, why hockey uh, should, why fighting in hockey should uh, remain um, uh, acceptable and uh, that will give you uh, uh, ideas that you can incorporate into your uh, last sentence of this introduction which is uh, where you mention the organization. Uh, I hope that has been of help. Uh, please practice uh, with the, the introductions here and uh, in, that, in that way you will uh, learn the parts of the introduction and you will also be prepared uh, for this section on the exam. Have a nice day.